Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it still bearish market trend, what's going on with the stock market world on a daily time frame. As usually, let's move to 5 rules of risk management, please read it and follow it every single trade and remember rule number 2, never add to a losing trade. Now let's move to VBull. VBull, index chart. First half of the day it was kind of bearish trend and second part of the day it was bullish trend and it did close neutral, it closed neutral, flat, right, flat day. Now let's do technical analysis review. As usually we are using daily time frame, uh, for swing trading I'm using daily and 4 hours time frame. Let's start uh, DXY. If you want to learn more about uh, Vibull setup, just go to the description. There is the link about Vibull setup training and other links about all my trainings. I'm using, let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using moving averages, white line MA200, purple line MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10, green line MA5. MACD indicator, RSI indicator, awesome oscillator bars. That's all very simple, it's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. And look at here. You see my mouse and my 5 green line did bearish crossover over 10. It is bearish crossover, right? When bars move below my 5, it is bearish trend. When bars move bars moved above MA5, it was bullish trend. Since that time, MA5 did bullish crossover over 10, it, it was a bullish trend and it, it is still bullish up to date. You see, it started from here, right? From June 20, started bullish trend and still up to today, we are in the October, um, in October 27. Two months already, two months market already, um, you say dollar in a bullish trend for two months. Okay, <laughs> bullish trend, it's negative for equities and indexes. Now let's move to Q's, Q's daily. Last, let me maximize it, maybe make, make it bigger. Last bar below all, let me remove this. Last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend on all indicators. 4 hours time frame, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend on all indicators. 1 hour time frame, looks like it wants to have bounce, all indicators switch to bullish, MA5 didn't make bearish bullish crossover yet, but bar moved above MA5 and 10, still below 20. It wants to have some balance, looks like on one, on one hour time frame only. Volatility index VX10, volatility index for Qs, still bullish, cannot break the SMA200, still bullish trend, it's negative for Qs, bearish for Qs. S&P 500, SPX, flat today also, Qs flat, SPX flat. Last bar below all moving averages except 200, bearish trend on all indicators on daily time frame. 4 hours time frame, MA5, 10 and 20 did bearish crossover, SM, yeah, it's very negative setup. When MA20 did bearish setup, it's very negative, very negative 4 hours time frame. And 1 hour time frame. All indicators they switch to positive and bars move to positive but MA5 still below 10. Still bearish trend. VIX volatility index. Uh, MA5 did bullish crossover over 200. Bullish trend on all indicators. It is bearish for S&P 500. Dow Jones. Let's start Dow Jones. DIA. Last bar stopped at SMA 200, at MA 200. Stop at moving averages 200. Bearish trend on all indicators. It can bounce 
MA200 can be strong support. We'll see. So far bearish trend for our time frame. Same bearish trend. MA5 intended bearish crossover and 20 ready for bearish crossover over 200. Bearish trend. And one hour time frame. Also bearish all indicators switch to bullish. Bars move above MA5 and 10, but MA5 still below 10, still bearish. VXD volatility index for Dow Jones. VXD, <coughs> let's see daily. MA5 did bullish crossover over 10, 50 and 100 bullish trend. Last bar below 200, still bullish on all indicators on daily time frame. Still bullish. And uh, still bullish on daily, right? Let's see four hours. Yeah, still bullish also. Bullish is a bearish for Dow Jones, right? Russell 2000, IWM. IWM uh, daily. Last bar below all moving averages, MA5, 10, and 20. Ready for bearish crossover. It is bearish trend. Very negative. For our time frame, all moving averages did bearish crossover except 200 or except 100 over 200 bearish trend on four hours time frame. One hour time frame, MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20 bullish crossover bullish trend on one hour time frame. Apple. Apple daily, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend on all indicators on daily time frame. For our time frame, last bar below all moving averages, all indicators bearish. And one hour time frame, all moving averages bearish, bearish trend on all indicators on one hour time frame. Now let's move to Tesla. Tesla, let's start one hour time frame. Bearish trend, all indicators bullish, but MA5 and 10 still bearish. Last bar move above MA5, but still bearish trend. Four hours time frame, last bar below all moving averages, MA5 did bearish crossover, bearish trend. Daily, last bar stopped at S at MA100, still bearish trend. For Tesla, let's move to NVIDIA. NVIDIA daily. For last five days, it stopped and sits. It sits at MA100. MA100 is strong support. It can bounce from it or it can break it out and do bearish crossover. So far, still bearish. Four hours I did bullish crossover, positive. Yeah, bullish on four hours time frame. Still strong support MA200. Cannot break MA200. MA200 still very strong. At the same time, MA20 ready for bearish crossover. It is negative setup. Even all indicators positive, this fight, it can be very powerful bull run to turn the yellow line uptrend. Or it will do bearish trend. I believe it will break you see SMA 10 ready for bearish crossover over 200. It will break SMA 20, will break 200, and it will be a huge bearish reversal. Nvidia one hour positive MA5 did bullish crossover, last bar closed about 20 and 50. Bullish on one hour time frame. Microsoft, let's start one hour time frame. MA5 did bullish crossover over 10. Last bar stopped at 20. All indicators positive bullish. Four hours time frame for Microsoft. It's completely bearish. All indicators bearish, right? Even as MA100 did bearish crossover over 200. Bearish trend. Daily. Last bar below all moving averages except 200. Bearish trend. Amazon. 
Amazon Daily Las Bar Below All Moving Averages, MA5 did bearish crossover over 100, bearish trend on all indicators. 4 hours time frame, MA5 and 10 and bars did bearish crossover over 200, bearish trend. And 1 hour time frame, it wants to bounce, MA5 ready for bullish crossover, looks like it wants to bounce, all indicators positive. BABA, similar MA5, Alibaba group, MA5 radius for some bounce on 1 hour time frame, 4 hours time frame, still bearish, last bar below all moving averages, and daily, last bar still below all moving averages, still bearish. Now let's do summary, USA dollar still very powerful, still very bullish for last two months. It is negative for equities and indexes. All indexes and equities, they are still bearish on daily time frame, on 4 hours time frame, no changes, very bearish. On 1 hour time frame, they want to have some bounce, all equities and all indexes on 1 hour time frame, they are positive, they want to have some bounce. They want to have some bounce. How? How high will be bounce? Let's see. So far they are just fighting between MA20 level. That's what we are observing. That's all. Trend still bearish. Now let's move to disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember for educational purpose we are using paper trading simulator as long as we need to get constantly profitable at least for 6 months. Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click like button to support this channel and put any questions in the comments, I will answer it. Thank you and good luck. Bye now.